Good evening. Good evening. Um, it's time for another art stream. And this evening, rather than continuing with the second part of uh, Anima Mouse, I'm actually going to do a splash screen for the art streams, because at the moment I'm still using the one I was using on Daisy and other games, which is my kind of conversion of a scene over Electro, a town in Daisy. Uh, and I've added kind of a my take on the Thulu kind of dominating landscape rather than zombies which are usually part of the game and other players but if you're not a gamer you won't give a shit about that so I'll shut up <laughs> um, that tune the intro uh, was one of my own creations it was actually the original Enema Mouse theme so I'm going to start using that from the, for this uh, particular kind of thing I need to turn that down there that's a bit loud Um, what's playing right now is uh, a guy based in India, he, uh, he calls himself as an artist Amo Symphony and this is his first effort, an EP put out called Abolishing the Obsolete System and this is a title track and you'll probably get to hear the rest of the uh, EP in the next uh, 30 minutes or so as well and then I'll find something else and I think it's going to be uh, Inve Malmsteen live with uh, some Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra from the, the late 90s is totally over the top, but I like it. <laughs> anyway, this evening, we'll be doing a, in fact, let me get rid of this splash bollocks. We'll be doing a new splash screen. So I've already set the stage, here it is. Would like to sing. And, I'm going to try and think of something to draw while I draw it, which is pretty usual for me, because that's kind of how I approach everything, art-wise. I've got an idea in my head sometimes. Sometimes it appears while I'm, while I'm holding the pen. I assume uh, the preview is showing something. preview doesn't seem to be updated, which is a bit annoying. Oh, that's better. Refresh it. Hello, viewer. That's quick. How you doing? Right, I don't know if you heard the intro, but I'm going to be doing um, a splash screen for my art streams, uh, kind of digital art streams. Um, I'm kind of leaning at the moment towards a picture of maybe I need to do another, I want to do another individual action picture of Animal Mouse to be fair. Um, so I might have him like beating the shit out of something, you know, pretty large like, um, I don't know. Um, let's pick something large. What's large? Um, there's quite a few targets. I was thinking of something like that Lucifer Horus. Or Azathoth, like you know, Demon Sultan Prince, Demon Sultan thing in the middle of the universe. Um, that could be quite a big target to take on. Um, 
I'm really not into Hollywood bullshit or TV or anything like that, so I'm very... That's just why I actually had him attack you know, two icons of that bullshit pretty much in the first episode because I just don't watch that crap at all. I'm not, in, not influenced by it in any way. My influences don't even come from that sort of thing at all. I might like, like to come from a book or, or a tune or something. Or something I saw while I was out. Um, or something that just popped into my head all by itself, in fact. I do strongly believe that anyone, everyone should be their own strongest influence and not anything outside their heads, because that's obviously what the, you know, the kind of commercial society is set up to do, is to draw you away from your own ideas and fill your head with others. Um, so, um, we've got a pen, we've got a pen. And if you missed it, yeah, the tunes currently playing in the background is uh, a, an EP, it's a few years old now, I think it's about eight years old, by a, a Mumbai in India artist who started originally as a percussionist and drummer and got into programming and playing guitar and everything else, which you can kind of hear because this is him playing everything, um, called Amo Symphony. Kind of preceded all the kind of modern stuff that's come out in the last couple of years on the kind of guitar front. It's all got a bit crazy in the fusion department at the moment. Right. So, who do we get? Who do we have uh, anyone else beating up? That's the thing. Because it's going to dis- it's going to have a certain um, who. <laughs> um, it's going to have a certain bearing on how I'd kind of lay it out. Plus I'm going to have to obviously put some, some kind of titles on it. Um, I haven't decided what to call the art streams yet. Fuck knows. Um, art Assault. Because <laughs> it's still got that ass in it somewhere. Ass Assault. Art Ass Assault. Um, if you want to go on my YouTube channel and look up the Enema Mouse video, it's quite far back because it's back in the days long before I posted kind of gaming stuff or anything like that. I just used to make various videos just for the sake of it. My channel was put up just for that, for me to make bullshit and then post it when I could be asked. Um, and this is where Animal Mouse was born, actually, as a character. But um, it was more about piss-taking comedy. So if you watch that, you might get some of the jokes and that appear in the, com- in the comic eventually. Because they will be on running. <laughs> Um, let's turn the opacity on that pen up because that's pathetically weak. Hello viewers, there's a couple in the room now, how you doing? It'd be nice if you come and said something. Oh, if you're not logged in, fucking log in. Or you're just going to be one of those lurkers in the gutter. (laughs) Something to people to step over on. So, I need to decide who I want in fighting. Um, I am leaning towards some kind of Baphomet stroke, kind of Lucifer stroke Horus character. Um, Or I could have him beating up Metatron's cube, that would be an interesting view. Something that you would normally say. I wouldn't. I, it's debatable how you could represent a Metatron's cube attacking something else, though. Um, right. He's obviously going to have to be kind of dominant in the picture, so I'm going to. Start by just roughing in a, a shape. This is going to be roughly where his head goes. That's going to be a shoulder, I think, on the back, leaning over. So we'll in fact, how do we want the movement? I'm just going to. If 
put some approximate ears in. He's got this kind of chrome backpack thing that attaches to his uh, enema nozzle, which, as I say, he doesn't always use, but it's always in the shop. So I'll just kind of I kind of want the general shape of his character to be like that and the other one to kind of be going under here somewhere with a splat. I think that's what I want to do. The beauty of that is that I'll stretch it out a bit. So that's kind of, uh, you know, obviously the other, you know, some other things. The other dude there, you know, see some kind of arrangement of limbs. Coming out, maybe the wings coming around here, and a bit of drama and explosion. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. shape of that one to go and then right I have to start working on how I want this guy to look. I presume he's gonna have some kind of hornage here. And some Ford and Angel type wing chip. So we'll put that in there. Everyone always, all these kind of Luciferian characters are always looking like the hero, so this guy's gonna get his ass well and truly fucking kicked. I think that's how I want the kind of composition. I'm gonna move him across actually, because. I won't do it, that's what I want. Composition that kind of stick right there. It feels placed quite well. Right, just let me take in the view because now I'm going to start adding just. I might make this a fairly impressionist piece, but we're still with some strong lines and then kind of, so we get more of a kind of a impression of movement and everything. And it's the idea I want to try it anyway, kind of a, somewhere midway between a kind of graphic novel cartoon style 
and an actual impressionist style, perhaps. Hmm. It's always a challenge. Let's do something different. Let's start with um. Fairly dark tone, just to fill in some shapes. Let's get some shapes going. Let's get a new eye going as well, just in case. Start getting a bit of finish on shapes that we're going to use. Anyone that knows the character, he wears uh, he's basically like a, an omniscient enema, well, what do you call it, a proctologist. Karmic proctologist, I think is the best thing way of describing him. And of course, uh, as far as I'm aware, the world of uh, superheroism so far hasn't fe featured a, a proctologist of such epic proportions. If there's even been a proctologist in the superhero circles at all. I've got confused there, and that's the forearm, and then I've, no, I've done it, I have got confused, that shouldn't, that should just be a hand there, so I'll worry about that in a minute, let's just swap them around. Is that even black? Yeah. Be all right back. We've had some more, more emphasis. In fact, I will try and I think I'll stick that back there. And I'll just stick the other hand there somewhere. I'll do something else in a minute. Hello, viewers. Someone to come and say hello? I think you're being quite rude. <laughs> yeah, I just... I'll just try and get some colour in here anyway. Just to give us a kind of clue where we're going. Some of this. But I'm actually going to colour that bit over there because the, obviously the ears aren't really that going to be that shape. That's just me. But I kind of know where to put them now. Anyway, where I'm going to put them. I'm just going to basically add more more detail until it's finished. I've actually um, posted links on the main page now to uh, my, my YouTube page, my art and photography page, and the blog spot page where I'm going to be posting the animal mouse stuff and a few other things. I've posted a, a sketch of a Celtic kind of warrior. Megalithic type, well, I know, sorry, kind of uh, warrior s thing, but that was for the benefit of some uh, models that I might be doing a shoot with, and I'm actually making all of the stuff that that character's wearing as actual authentic looking stuff, including a big metal shield. I've got the spearhead done, I've got the skull made, I've got all the feathers for the head thing, um, and I'm going to basically create that costume and then go and shoot it. also the beauty of uh, Photoshop. In fact, I should probably do this and just put a little colour palette down the side so I don't lose too many of them. I 
Again, I'd make this uh, bottom layer has got basically an extra board around it. So again, when I'm zooming in, gives you a gives me more opportunity to move around the, and show what's going on, and gives me an opportunity to stick some colour in the borders. What's up to the tunes? I think I'm going to do something with a shape. There's that arm as well at some point, because I need to have a little bit more action in it and a bit more force looking, forceful looking. I need to cut that bit out a little bit though. Because I put a little bit too much under there. Just trying to remember which layer I did it on. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. I want quite an exaggerated pose. I don't think the head's going to end up like that eventually, but at the moment, in fact, no, I'm going to do something about that now. Really. Find a suitable base shade. Originally, but right, actually, so she's going to have the, the hat on. So let's put the approximate placement of the, the Mickey Mouse ears, or whatever you want to call them. The end of the mouse ears. Originally, I did have little spikes on the cap part of it, like little kind of you know punk spikes or something. So let's just put that on anyway. Get the, I think we need to start looking at the kind of aspect of the face a little bit and the angle. The theme is that he's always kind of grinning. And he does it because he obviously enjoys his job. You get the impression there. Obviously there's a big thing missing, which I might as well put in now because it kind of gives a focus to what, what's going on. That's it now. Big red nose. <laughs> but at the moment, yeah, I'm just trying to, I think I'm just trying to visualise what I could just see as shapes. Just to create some kind of um, drama and movement. I think I'm happy with that kind of shape. Yeah, it sits here. That looks like it probably needs to be taken in a bit. Let's just, I might actually create kind of a blur effect here. Or kind of a, you know, movement of colour. Hmm. Anyway. Continue. But yeah, as I said earlier, he's like a kind of cosmic proctologist, so he's, that's how he's ended up with this uh, kind of medical scrub shit on. Cosmic medical scrubs. Let's 
スなんですけど。Stop putting a little bit more detail in this thing. Give us a bit more idea of. <laughs> Cheers, Shades. <laughs> I looked at your message and then it went across the screen with the eye riser. <laughs> and I'm just going to see what you said. I don't even know if it comes up on the screen. It shouldn't do. It's supposed to be just capturing. Oh, it does. It shouldn't do that. Na naughty, naughty. I'm going to move it over there. It doesn't like your credentials. <laughs> Your name's not on the list, are you not coming in? Anyway, what's it doing? <laughs> oh, that's right. It's, um, I need to capture some of that, right. Um, I was gonna... Uh, Clean the end of the other end, I think it's sticking. Let's just use the other end instead. Boing. Right. Because that needs to go around there, really. So let's just uh, let's try and get it right now.
that's kind of the track I'm looking for, I think. kind of expression we're looking for. Kind of getting into the beat of it when I don't really need to at this stage for it. Things like that start to annoy me. That's better. That's a little bit more closer to the shape I think I might end up with. What do you reckon? Is that a good shape? <laughs> I'm going to deal with the background, obviously. I think it's going to be in space or somewhere pretty far out with some kind of swirly shit and transparencies over a kind of a dark background, maybe with some stars. I don't know yet. But I don't really want the focus to be on the background, so it needs to be kind of wishy-washy. Cheers, dude. All right, let's put the, uh, the ears more in a, an appropriate shape, place, and place and shape. As you're thinking like you're one of the hardest beings in the universe and getting taken out by a dude that looks like this, you'd be well fucked up, wouldn't you? <laughs> what the fuck are you? It's not who the fuck am I, it's what the fuck am I, dude. <laughs> Actually, I haven't quite decided what kind of voice he would have. He'd probably just troll people and then put it through like an 8-bit granulizer just to piss everyone off. So what did you just say? Oh, it was just pitch shifted, dude. Oh, yeah, fuck it, forget it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to think of kind of a a way of um, drawing the uh, enema kills without being, you know. for a mature audience, if that makes any sense. For some reason that just is bugging me at the moment. I don't know why. That arm's bugging me. There's something bugging me about it. <laughs> Everything's PG, dude. Have you noticed that? You can't go out in the world now without everything going, shh, shh, watch your language, ch kids. Fuck off. <laughs> There's got to be somewhere I can go where I can go fuck off. You know, I'm an adult. I can go, I can say fuck off. I want to. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Everything's for fucking kids. Why is this bugging me? I don't know why it's bugging me. I'm going to keep rubbing bits out until I decide what, what the fuck's bugging me about it. 
That can all go anyway, I don't need that up there anyway. It's just early nebulous unnecessary garbage. Start straightening this up a little bit. There we go. Ah <laughs> That was teaches me for using the the end I haven't cleaned yet. Let's go back. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a penis. Dangerous. Well, actually, yeah, now taking a bit of that outline weight off. It's not bugging me as much as it was. Let's kind of carve his hand down into something that looks more like a hand. There we go. It's like a bit of sculpture going on doing this. You add stuff, then you take it back off. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit more um, convincing. As I say, I'm going to make it a little bit more kind of um, impressionistic as I go along. I'm going to add quite a lot of different colours to make up the general colour. For those who are unfamiliar with impressionistic pictures, quite often you'll you'll have a general colour that you see from a distance and as you get closer, it's a bit like pointillism took it to the ultimate extreme, I guess, but because the world isn't, you know, illuminated just by a single single lights necessarily, everything reflects off everything else, so seeing into that is, was one of the things I think in, that really gave impressionism a, a character. People like Monet, obviously, very famously doing studies of light and tone and the subtleties. <laughs> Tell me if this is getting too high brow for Twitch. <laughs> but um, I, I only made this discover recently, actually, that Twitch actually has a creative channel. And um, that Bob dude, I can't remember his name, the one with the kind of African, uh, not African, with the Afro kind of hair, the, uh, bot, the Australian uh, artist, the one that people use in memes all the time. Um, he did a big kind of uh, first stream in the creative department and on Twitch and had like 4 million viewers or something. Bastard. Um, and to launch the creative channel, which is quite nice. And I noticed as well, oddly, um, YouTube have dropped their arts department, if you like, the arts channel. So you can't list videos under anything art, which is, uh, well, it's hardly surprising looking at the usual content that YouTube wants you to watch. So, come on, PewDiePie, fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, I digress somewhat. So, should we have this Lucifer character looking like how all the Luciferians think he should look, which is kind of like this, uh, kind of mm, beautiful young man or uh, should we just have him looking like a scabby scabby whore demon type thing pustules and broken broken feathers and shit flying about craggy teeth horns kind of warty skin maybe <laughs> let's have a vote on that Beautiful young man. <laughs> oh, cheers, dude. Well, this is it. I'm actually going to do some Daisy splash screen stuff at some point as well. I've actually been asked to do one for someone. Chuts, Chutney Langham. You might have seen stuff on YouTube. If you haven't, go and check it out. I think I've got him on my recommended channel. Um, he's been doing it a while. He's quite a funny guy. But comes up with his own tunes as well. It's always nice when someone adds a bit of uh, unique content as well. It's nice. I like it. Um, I digress once again. Um, too easily. Um, I didn't actually use that colour in the palette, did I? I suppose I should. But did I put it on that one? I put it on that one. All right. Not that it really matters. Grab that colour. That's right. Let's bury it. 
Toll, ganz so. So are the, uh, the tunes currently acceptable? Because you're going to get Ingwei Malmsteen playing with the Japanese Symphony Orchestra very soon. <laughs> and I, I, I'm, I am aware that to a, a great percentage of people that would probably be an acquired taste. <laughs> yes, and we know how important that is, don't we? Diversity. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to play the this current playlist in the right order. Oh, what are you doing, you fucking retard? Yeah, I just captured the wrong colour and painted over the line in the wrong place. Let's do that again. Because I'm not... I don't think I'm going to keep that edge of cheek there, so let's just... Rubbed it out now. Yeah, that's better. Right, I'm happy with that kind of facial angle now, I think. Looks like he really means it. <laughs> I'm still not... I'm, I'm doing something wrong here. I'm going to sort this out as we progress. This, it just doesn't look right to me. And I actually don't know why. I'm going to analyse it, in fact. We've got the shoulder muscle here, which usually kind of... Uh, and we've got the back of the arm. That's good. We can deal with that. Ah, there you go. I think that's what I missed out. It's just a... Yeah, I think that worked. that's kind of... That's what I was doing wrong. It just didn't have the correct anatomy properly drawn in. Let's say once I progress a little bit further with the shape and general dynamic of the picture, I'm gonna start adding color tones similar to the, the way the poster looks, where a lot of it's not actually the original colours of the costume, so to speak, it's actually what you're seeing is just the light sources on it. That is the time consuming bit, of course. But I'd, I'd like to get a pretty good idea of where it's going before I, I do all that shit. <laughs> I was making a cup of tea and I completely failed to finish the job. I put the kettle on before the stream and <laughs> left myself with an empty tea, uh, tea place and thing, whatever you call it. Coaster, that's the word. Idiot. <laughs> Very much slacking. <laughs> I'm still kind of thinking about what I'm going to do with this kind of Lucifer character. So I'm just going to carry on colouring this shit in roughly until uh, a few pennies drop. <laughs> I've got a few, it's, it's the trouble is, is when you've got conflicting ideas in your own head. Because the problem with that is if you let, if you don't kind of um, fathom them out before you get to where you need to go with them. 
you um, end up with this kind of just mess, formless, sans ideas, or, or too many ideas all crammed into it, or they all kind of cancel each other out. Superficially, I'm kind of, yeah, I think this is what I want on that front, on the general dynamical shape of the whole thing. The here, I'm going to think I'm going to have a wing. I'm just change the colour, and I can't see that. I think I'm going to have his wing kind of bending up in some fashion. In fact, let's stick another layer on that. So I want to stylize it a bit so it's kind of graphical, so it doesn't just look like a, you know, a straight picture. It looks like it's actually kind of fitting into a shape as well, like that. You, know, you can see that fairly well there. So I could probably bend that wing round more, can I? and have some fragments flying off. This is probably going to take a few sessions to do because it's not going to be... It's going to be probably quite complex. I'm going to put quite a lot of light sources into it or at least a lot of things that are going to have light on them, defining them. Let's try and... Uh, I've already had this tune. Oh, this is at least my least favourite because it's got that stupid kind of bullshit on it. If you hadn't guessed, that's kind of where the hand's going to be. I'm only just going to suggest it at the moment because I might not leave it there. The other one's going to be kind of messed up in there somewhere, so it probably end up seeing a bit of it coming up there. Uh, maybe a hand there. I won't know yet, but that kind of looks where it might go. What do you think of that? Wank that. Um, let me guesstimate where that's going to go there. Sorry, we're more like that. That's more like it, yeah. He's almost like he's trying to keep his hand up because he doesn't want to get punched with the other hand. So yeah, that kind of looks like he's trying to try a defence at least. <laughs> Got a shoulder here. Gonna have the head there, that's his other shoulder, upper arm, forearm, hand, upper arm, forearm, hand again, wing arrangement, and then we can shove the legs in somewhere in the background because they're not really important right now. Is my mic level alright by the way? I can't really fucking tell because I can obviously hear my own, everything's going back through the headphones. Legs. Nose. Actually, uh, Baphomet, so Lucifer's supposed to be half fem female, isn't it? So maybe he's got, um, maybe we should introduce some chauvinism and cut the legs off. <laughs> Talking of which, didn't you get married? Sheets. For the benefit of the other viewer, whoever, or the other viewers, I can't tell sometimes how many there are. <laughs> what, you mean the band wings? <laughs> oh right, 14th October, that's uh, nine days after my birthday. In case you want to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, unfortunately, I was just saying, viewers, um, for the benefit of the viewers, um, one of those watching is talking to me in Steam. 
He's a go I'm going on Steam. He's a mate on Steam. Um, and he can't get into uh, Twitch. So um, you may hear me just talking to him during the stream at this point. Oh, cool. Fair play. What, you got pictures of him? <laughs> or did he stitch you up? Right, where am I going with this stuff? You're distracting me now. Stop it. Just stop it. I'm almost, almost forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> Brick the speech. Well, that's not that surprising, though. You know, Was there a lot of people there? An intimidating crowd. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to like this picture now. You'll be pleased to hear. Oh, that's not too bad. Manageable. <laughs> right. Um, let's choose a colour for this dude. I'm kind of thinking at the moment purple, similar to how my desktop looks. If you can see that. Um, my missus is lovely but she's just brought me a cup of tea finished the job I should have done thank you dear right There is something about the arm that's still bothering me. I know what it is now, actually. I can see it. This. Um, I'm going to put another box on top just to, so, to show. Let's change colour. Let's put that on. This area. Doesn't have the right shape. I need to bring it back a bit because it doesn't look like it's really pushing the force in quite the right way. Do you know what I mean? just doesn't look quite forceful enough the way it's shaped. There's actually a kind of quick solution to this as well without having to do, undo what I've already done. I'll, um, just smear a big chunk of white across here and draw it over the top. And if it looks shit, I'll just delete that layer. <laughs> there you go. Professional approach. That's how the professionals must do it. <laughs> Hello viewers, how you doing? According to the uh, Twitch stats, so I've got four viewers. Which might mean I've got none, or I've got ten. Because that's how the Twitch stats seem to work. But, thank you. Thanks for joining. I hope I don't bore you to tears too much. Right, that is... What I thought it was. I don't want that strong, mate. Right. As I say, I'm, I was annoyed with that arm. It wasn't quite how I wanted it. I think what we need is a... All that kind of shape. Yeah, that's much more like it. That's what, I, yeah, it was just this back of this arm didn't look like it was, you know, really pushing. Wow, my missus is also a magician. She's made me a sick and thrown it at me and it's actually vanished into the ether as it landed. That's pretty cool. I'm 
I should do a quick reverse spell to get it back. That's better. <laughs> right, I've just noticed the tunes have now officially stopped. So suddenly the stream is a lot more dull than it even was before. Um, this is Ingve Malmsteen, a very famous guitarist, if you're into that sort of thing, who kind of first introduced the world to this kind of classical approach. Uh, and this is him playing with an orchestra that he's organised, playing his own tunes. Um, I think it was recorded in the 90s, if you're interested. In fact, I think the... Uh, let's see if I can find where he starts playing, because there's a bit of a wank bit at the start where the... Uh, before he comes out. There we go. There we are. Right, on with the show. For those who have just joined, I am actually skipping what I'd started to do, which was uh, part two, essentially, the ep next episode in Enema Mouse. Links below on the page if you want to see part one. Um, but I'm now going to do a splash screen to um, kind of use for all my art streams. That uh, arm is actually wrong. <laughs> that arm is actually wrong. It's not quite what I want. I've looked at it again. It's Shades. There's a guy in watching this called, and he's, he's distracting me in Steam. It's his fault. Um. And eventually this will look more like an impressionist piece than anything I've previously done because that was the intention to kind of mix it up a little bit. <sighs> it still looks like fucking there's something wrong with it. What is it? This is really, really doing my head in. Right, that's better. Right, let's do something about this guy. Start with giving him a bit of colour in his head.
Right, that's starting to give us a little bit more of an idea. In fact, I've already had enough of this tune, so I'm going to put something completely, well, not completely different, but there's still guitar music, but it's slightly different. More of a kind of a fusion edge to it. There you go. Richard Cotson and Greg Howe, another two kind of virtuoso guitarists. This was called in the uh, in the 90s, early 90s sometime. I'm actually using that same brush as I used yesterday with a dual brush with a slight kind of grainy effect. Because it tricks my brain into thinking I'm using paint still. <laughs> or something like that. I'm 
that's it. There's too much white up there. I don't mind the hell in the song. I don't know why. It's just the wrong shape around here. Yeah, until I get it how I want it, it's gonna just deny the shit out of me. I'm head for it with this now, because it's not what I wanted it to look like. I might end up destroying it all again. It's because it might not even be anything wrong with it, it's just annoying the shit out of me, I don't know why. <laughs> it happens. I think it's something to do with the pose up here, actually. 
so he's just going to rub out his whole arm. <laughs> oh my god! That's pretty drastic. No, it needs to be done because if while well, that one's still there, it just influences how I'm thinking about it, and I don't want it to. So. It's up there, isn't it? It's that height of the back of the shoulder. It's, it's too high. That's why it's too much meat on the shoulder, and that's what's annoying me. I might have to change the angle of that, but I'm not going to be that fussed about it right now. I might have to chop the top off a little bit. I'm trust that. The black line in a sec. Yeah. Yeah, that wants to be there, doesn't it? Not up there. Yep, that's exactly where I want it. That's, that's actually what was wrong with it. I should have noticed it earlier. Yeah, it was almost, the shoulders were almost as high as each other and if you look at the rest of the angle of the body and the way that the force is going to be applied going downwards, that's, 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 that's the problem, there was just too much of that colour here. Some of those back lines were annoying me there as well. I think chest needs readjusting as to go with that. That's why I kept drawing it earlier on differently because I just couldn't see it at the time. The centre line of the chest obviously is going to be somewhere here. Yeah, that's better. Still 
don't want challenge, but I'm happy with that shout. the white on the shoulder, it was just fucking unbalanced and it just wasn't looking right. Yeah. I'm slightly more satisfied with that now.
change the background for no reason at all. The problem I'm having right now is um, I oh, quite fancy a game of PUBG or something. So, in fact, I might return to this tomorrow evening. So, um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. About nine o'clock. Um, probably going to make this a fairly regular thing and obviously carry on with uh, gaming like Daisy. But um, cheers for watching, guys. Thanks very much, guys and gals. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Keep your eyes peeled and uh, check out some of the stuff. See what you think. Let us know. Give me some insults. Take it easy. See you later.